friends we do our own things as people we plan our own things as human beings but god he have his own wonderful way it's always good to be led by the holy spirit it's always good to catch the mind of the lord and to do exactly what he wants us to do we don't want to try to do god's service without his will the best thing that can ever happen and which can be a blessing to a christian is to catch the mind of god and do his perfect will that will bring a blessing upon the people god bless you person we love you uh we appreciate you and the saints tamahere god bless you we had a real good rest uh, around what time was it it was past 3 that we came back to sleep and i've been preaching is now a month i've clocked the whole month preaching every day so here there's no a human being standing so don't look up to a man because there's nobody here you just have to look away to the lord jesus christ but i i wonder how how i'm even able to speak and how i'm even able to preach to me is just the grace of god it's not possible as a mortal being it's not completely it cannot be done but uh, that's just the grace of god every week i don't know what is to sleep i don't know sometimes what is to to take a bath <laughs> what is to eat really to sit down and eat and but you know we just say let god have his wonderful way Amen. How many are happy? Amen. How many are under expectation? Amen. I really enjoyed to be here last time. Uh though it was a two in one service. They were almost like two sermons in one, but uh I really enjoyed everything. Yes, such a lovely people with faith, such a lovely people who love the Lord. And I heard from the pastor how you were praying and fasting that last time when I came. And I trust that you did the same even this time around just to always ask god to meet with us when we come to the services we don't come to see a man we don't come to show up ourselves the type of clothes we are wearing the type of cars we are driving and whatever we have in this earth or what we don't have we just come here to yield ourselves and commit ourselves into the presence of the lord and that's what we are here for today let us just pray as we commit the service into the hands of the lord if you have a need you can identify it by raising your hand not to me but to the lord gracious loving lord jesus we want to thank you once again for bringing us to the house of prayer it's our joy like david of old who said i was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of prayer thank you lord for this such precious moment thank you for giving us strength thank you lord for giving us the zeal and the love to love you with everything which is within us bless us now as we have come to the most important part of the service the preaching of the gospel and the hearing of it and we know that oh god and the father the preaching of the gospel came not in word only but in power and demonstration of the holy spirit may the sinners be saved all those that are present here today may the sick be healed may the discouraged be given courage and everything father those that are praying for different needs and desires such as they have lifted their hands to identify their needs i pray that oh god you grant each one of them as the word is going forth bless us lord bless the scriptures bless us also 
as we commit ourselves to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shall we stand to our feet? I want to thank God for that good song leader here. Uh, we'll, we'll ask him to come to Zim and sing Shona songs. And I, I, it will be good. Teach me Africans. Eh? Only what I know about Africans is cool drink and and uh, and thank you. <laughs> Those are the two ways that I know in Africans. But hey, he can sing it well. He can sing it nicely, uh, just like his Zuru brother. You see, that's that's wonderful. Let's open our Bibles from the Book of Acts, chapter one, verse four to verse eight, and Matthew twenty four fourteen. And Revelation 10 uh, from verse uh, 5, somewhere there. Uh, we can start. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which saith he, you have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost, not many days hence. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father had put in his own power, but you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Let's go to uh, Revelation first. Let's go to Revelation chapter 10. Then uh, we will come back to to Matthew. <clears throat> I want to preach on not many days hence. I don't know what you're going to put on that title for yourself. But whatever you're going to put there Remember, on top of it, it's not many days hands. And the angel which I saw stand upon the sea and upon the earth lifted up his hand to heaven and swear by him that liveth forever and ever who created heaven and the things that therein are and the earth and the things that therein are and the sea and the things which are therein that there should be time no longer. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished as he declared to his servants, the prophets. And I want us to read also to Revelation chapter 22. Maybe let's start from verse 8. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Then said he unto me, See, thou doest it not, for I am thy servant, and of thy brethren, the prophets of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship God. And he said unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophets of this book, for the time is at hand. Not many days ends. Amen. Let's come to Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. You may take your seats. So, I want to talk on that, not men, days, ends. But my subtitle is Ending All Things by the Message of the Hour. Ending Everything by the Message of the Hour. Ending Everything which is operating within time by the message of the hour. Amen. Ending all situations by the message of the hour. The Bible tells us that there's time for everything. There's time to plant. There's time to pluck out, to pluck up that which is planted. There's time to be born and there is time to die. There's time for this and there's time for that. And everything that operates within time. Everything that have a beginning have got an end to Amen. it. But we came from God and we go back to God. 
Hallelujah. Everything that has a beginning, there is an end to it. No matter what situation that started, there's a death where it started. There's a death where it's going to end. There's a time where things began. There's a time where things will come to an end. Only that which is internal doesn't have a beginning and doesn't have an end. But anything else which is not internal, anything else which doesn't have internal life, end to it. And that end will be triggered the gospel according to Matthew chapter 24. That end is going to be triggered by the message of the hour. That end is going to be triggered but by what we are preaching today. That's why the Bible is saying here in Matthew 24, after he said all what he said, after he said about the signs of the times and everything, whatever he was mentioned, whatever he was speaking about, then he came and he said, and this gospel, not another, a specific preaching, and this gospel, and he says, of the kingdom shall be preached, hallelujah, in all the world, for what? But you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you shall be my witnesses, beginning in Jerusalem. You shall be my witnesses, beginning in Benon. You shall be my witnesses, beginning in Zimbabwe. You shall be my witness, beginning from the point where the Holy Ghost has come upon you. When the Holy Ghost comes, when the power of God comes upon you, get ready for a testimony. When the Holy Ghost comes upon you, get ready to witness something. Because something is going to take place. The Holy Ghost doesn't just come without leaving you with nothing. The Holy Ghost doesn't just come and leave you the way you are. The power of God doesn't just come and leave you the way you are. If you're a sinner and the power of God comes upon you, it doesn't leave you in sin. Doesn't leave you in a miserable condition. When the power of Almighty God comes upon you, you are a different person. You are going to be a changed person. You are going to be a transformed person because uh, it's the power of transformation. This gospel of Jesus Christ, the gospel of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Then he says, and this gospel of the kingdom of God shall be preached. Hallelujah shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. Then shall the end come. And you know what, friends? There are people who have gone preaching. There are people who have gone to places. But some of their religions have never struck the whole world. Some of their preaching have never struck the whole world. Some of their faith has never struck the whole world. And my Bible says there's one Lord, one faith, one baptism. In this faith that we are talking about, in this gospel that we are talking about, there's a promise here according to the scriptures that it was not just going to end in Jerusalem. It was not just going to end there. It was not just going to end wherever it started. It was going to penetrate all the paths, all the corners of the world, even the message of the hour. That's why you see it's everywhere in the world. And it's only the message of the hour that has gone all through the world because that's the true gospel. There are churches that they have their own preachings and their faith and doctrines. But some of them is only in South Africa. Some of them is only in Zimbabwe. Some of them is only in Angola. Some of them is only in Zambia. Some of them is only out there. But this gospel has gone all over the world. And it will go all over the world. To bring the end time. To bring back Jesus Christ. To take his people. Now, when John came and he said, behold, the time is at the end. The end didn't come. But he said, behold, the time is at the end. The time was at the end. But the end of the world didn't come as yet. Jesus came. And say, the time has come is at hand. And believe the gospel. But the time, the world didn't come to an end. Why? That was the beginning of the end of time. But today, we are now at the end of the end 
of time. When John the Baptist came, there were seven church ages that was to come there. Paul came, he preached. The end didn't come. Irenaeus came, preached. The end didn't come. Columba preached. The end didn't come. Martin preached. The end didn't come. John Wesley preached. The end didn't come. The world as it stands today was waiting for a certain kind of preaching to bring the end. The end of all things have come. This world, for it to be burned by atomic power, was not going to be burned in the time of John the Baptist. This world, as we stand today, was waiting for a certain kind of preaching. Could not end by the time of Paul. Could not end by the time of Arrhenius. Could not end by the preaching of Columba. Could not end by the preaching of Luther. Could not end by the preaching of Wesley. Could not end by the preaching of the Pentecostal age. Could not end by the preachings of the denominations. Could not end by any other gospel. But the end time gospel. But the end time message brings the end. The seventh seal ends the time. The message of the hour ends the time. The message of the hour brings Jesus Christ. The message of the hour ends the world. The message of the hour ends civilization. The message of the hour ends everything. The message of the hour ends the time and ushers up into the millennium. Can I have a bit of fun? Glory be to God. I am building up to somewhere. Can you give, raise it a little bit, friends? I'm building you up to somewhere. Let's go back to Matthew 24. And this gospel, that's particular, that's particular, of the kingdom. This is why Jesus, when he sent the disciples, he said in Matthew 10, go you into all the world and preach the gospel. And he gave them power against all unclean spirits. Yes. If you put the monitor there, I can hear myself well. Maybe if you had even ear drums and ear food, you could stick them in my so that I doesn't strain myself. So he says, as you go forth, tell them the kingdom of God is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, cast out devils, raise the dead, freely received, freely give. So, the gospel must be of the kingdom of heaven. Our preaching must be of the kingdom of God. Last time I was preaching on the climax of our faith. That when we come to this message of the hour, we are not just coming to be healed from two eggs. We are not just coming to receive miracles. We are not just coming to open our blind eyes. We are not just coming to raise the dead. We are not just coming to give you cars. We are not just coming to give you houses. Because one of these good days, we are going to leave all this. But all the miracles, all the healings that we should have, all the healings that we should give to the people, all the opening of the blind eyes, the raising of the dead and the people, must generate faith to come to our climax. Must generate faith to come to the climax of our faith. We don't just end by opening the blind eyes. We don't just end by raising the people. We are going, we are moving on from faith to faith, from glory to glory, until one of these two days, this mortal body will put on immortality. This corruption will put on immortality. And in a moment, in the stream of the eye, we shall be chained and meet the Lord in the air. But the change is not just going to come suddenly. We are being changed every day of our lives. As you are hearing the gospel now, something is taking place right now. As you are hearing the gospel, there's a change happening. There's a change taking place in your body now. There's change taking place in your heart now. There's a change taking place in your life now. Something is happening. You may not see it. You may not believe what I'm telling you, but something is already happening. Something is in the move. Something is taking place. A change of your life. A change of your body is happening right now. 
than one of his days. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, we shall be chained and meet the Lord in the air. I was telling the Katsani people, Takan or whatever they call it. Takani people. And I said, if you have got a child, you see that little baby there. If the mother here holds the fingers of that little child and look at them for even a month without betting her eye, just looking at those fingers, she will not see them growing. But they are growing right now. Come here, my brother. You see this, brother? He doesn't have it. He had just had a shave maybe yesterday, isn't it? But do you see? His hair is growing right now. But you don't see it. If you come and stand here and start to look at him like this, for one week, you will not see any movement. But just give him one week. You look at him next to sand. When you see a change in his head next to sand, remember there's also a change that has happened for you the course of the week. Go and sit down. I say his hair is growing. Your faith is growing. Your body is changing. Your faith is growing. Your faith is growing. Your faith is growing. Your faith is growing. By the end of the service, you might be holding what you have come here praising. You might be holding what you have come here praying for. You might be touching because it's already happening. I am giving you things now by the preaching of the gospel. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive you your heart's desire. I don't want to preach long. I want you to preach full. I want your amen. I want your amen. So this whole world was waiting for Malachi 4 to come and preach. Then the end comes. I want to bring it to you. All the problems that we are facing today, they have been waiting for this message to come to you. And I've got good news. Be man, your problems have come to an end. And I'm ending all your problems by the message of the hour in the name of Jesus Christ. That's the climax of my sermon. As much as the world was waiting for what is happening now in Ukraine, everything is well set for this world to be totally annihilated, to be destroyed. Not many days ahead. And your situation, things here, are now well set. Remember your problem. You've got a beginning. Now today. This Sunday. I am triggering. The end of it. In the name of Jesus Christ. I am triggering. The end of that sugar diabetes. I am bringing in. The end of heart problem. I am bringing in the end of that misfortune. I am bringing in the end of evil spirits that have been taking charge all through your life until today. Now is the time. Now is the appointed hour. Now is the time to end your problem. Now is the time to end everything that started in your life which is undesirable. I am triggering the end of your sickness. I'm bringing the end of your crippleness. I'm triggering the end of your joblessness condition. I am bringing the end of your miserable condition. I am bringing the end. I am announcing the end of your joblessness. I am announcing the end of that condition. It's finished. I say your problem was waiting for this hour. 
Your situation was waiting for this time. Your condition was waiting for this moment. Your condition was waiting for this service. Your people problem was waiting for this hour. Your condition, hear me, Bernard. I am speaking in the name of Jesus Christ. Bernard, hear me. I say I'm speaking in the name of Jesus Christ. I am speaking by inspiration. I know what I'm talking about. I say your problem was waiting for this hour. Somebody was to come to speak about the end of asthma. Somebody has to come to speak against the HIV virus. Somebody had to come to end that asthma in your life. Somebody had to come to end that migraine hair attack. Somebody had to come to end that joblessness condition. Somebody had to come to end that suffering. Somebody has to come to end sleepless nights. Somebody had to come to end sleepless nights. Somebody had to come. Somebody had to come. As William Branham came to come to bring the end of the world. And he said, this message of the hour will introduce Jesus Christ to the world. This message of the hour will introduce Jesus Christ to your life. This message will introduce the healer. This message will introduce the deliverer. This message will introduce, here he is, here he is, here he is, here he is, here he is. Yesterday, for today, as we were preaching there the other night, I said, if they have said to you that you not stay in that marriage, let me now bring the end of that statement. <laughs> there are people here who are declared not to stay in their marriage. So I began to say, I hear them saying, Oh, Oh, You are going to stay in that marriage. And somebody has to say it. Somebody must say it. Somebody must speak it. Somebody must pronounce your blessings. Somebody must pronounce your healing. Somebody must give you a job. And I'm here to do it in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, someone must give you a job. Someone must give you a job. Someone must give you a good job. Someone must give you a good contract. Someone must give you a permanent position. Someone must give you a promotion. Somebody must give you something. And I'm under commission. I'm under commission to give it to you by the preaching of the gospel. I'm under commission to pronounce you healed by the commission of the gospel. I'm under commission to pronounce you blessed by the message of the hour. Last week we were Things were happening instantly. Instant, instant miracles. I gave a testimony of a, a, how when I came here last time, I preached for a certain family who had some spectacles. And I said, do you believe? Then they said, yes. And I felt such a pull from the young men and the sister there. And they believed, we prayed. They took them off until I left to Zim. I saw them, I think it's here or it's kind of there, without the specs after a week from prayer. So when I was preaching in Blawai, I shared that testimony. Then I said, if you don't want them spectacles right now, you can do without them. The moment I said that, there was such a wave of the Holy Ghost that swept through the church. And people began to take them off. There was such a commotion. I never told them to take them off. 
I said, if you just don't want them, you can do without them. But you see, some they like it because they, they look good in them. But you know what it is? It's blindness. Do you know blind but me? Yes. At one time used it to see. And maybe he had some spectacles. And he passed that age until they were shut completely. But there's a time when blindness began in his life. Then Jesus of Nazareth began to pass by. Then Jesus began to pass through. And he said, pass me not. Oh, gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. Pass me not. That's perfect faith. Pass me not, oh, gentle Savior. I rebuke blindness in the name of Jesus. Demons are very smart. Demons are very smart and learned. Those are not spectacles. That's blindness. And I rebuke and expose it in the name of Jesus Christ. I said that's blindness taking place. That's blindness eating your eye now. That's blindness gaining ground. Benon, I want you to take chance. To take opportunity. I was supposed to have them. But I rejected them. And I can see. Whatever is happening there. I was supposed to have them. So you know what happened one time? I went into this reverend shop where they sell the lens and everything. And I asked her how much. That time in Zim, it was three times my salary. Then I could not afford it. Then I said, I was not born without them anyway. I was born without them anyway. And I walked out of that store from that day until now. You can only remain with them if you were born with them. Unless if you want to shine in them. I have no problem with that. One time Brother Brown was preaching. There was a man with clutches. He says, can I have them? <laughs> he looked at the preacher and said, how, how cruel are you? Then he just passed. Then he pointed another one. Next, the same problem. Say, do you believe what I told him to do? He said, yes, I believe. He said, can you do what he failed to do? He said, here are the clutches. And immediately. What you are failing to do, I'm going to tell someone. What you are failing to exercise, I saw it in Guero. Someone is going to do what you are not doing. Someone is going to receive what you are not receiving. Okay. Let me just help you so that we operate in the same dimension. I have been preaching for years. And you see, I've been preaching for the whole month. If I am to count how many sermons I've preached in my life, you can count. But Gweru people they are dangerous. The church there, it passed aside. That church is on fire. That church believes God. That church believes the supernatural. The first service, I had three services, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I said, when I just greeted them, I picked it. I said, Lord, these people are dangerous. If I want to go on the same rate with them, 
will sleep here. Then let me just be wise. So I said, Lord, help me just to hit the highlights. So I just raised the expectation. Then tomorrow we come and just hit on the spot and we go. So I said, I want just to be there maximum one hour. I began to preach. You know, whatever you could say, it was going to, it was striking somebody. Things begin to happen. It's instantly. There was a sister who had arthritis. When I shared Sister Paula's testimony there, she was healed instantly. There was a sister who had drove from Blawayo, declared blind for three years. We have even come here to South Africa to see the specialists. When I was sharing how the wave of the Holy Ghost came in Blawai at Pastor Ngoyna's church, and I just pointed that sister, I said, I rebuke blindness caused by sugar diabetes in that spirit medium. And she had those three things. And that spirit medium came out from here. I just saw it laying at the floor there. Then I was told after the service, she was declared blind for three years. That moment, she began to see the lights. Come on, you can see the light. That sister is believing. That sister, she's full of faith, that one. Whose sister is that one? God bless you, my precious sister. Receive your healing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your healing. There was such an atmosphere. I began to share a testimony of where I was preaching and there was a child who was dumb and it was the daughter of the interpreter. So after the service, I saw the interpreter outside and he said, Pastor, God spoke to me direct. I thank him for that. I said, where? And he said, that child you pointed and you said, this child will speak. This child will speak. That's my daughter. So when I shared that in Gweru, the interpreter had also a daughter, also eight years, and could not speak. The moment I shared the testimony, the Holy Ghost struck the mother of the child, and the daughter began to speak. <laughs> Benon, I don't know what, what you are waiting for. I don't know what you are waiting for. I don't know what you are waiting for. I don't know when you want to receive it. When it's already here, receive your need and desire in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive it, friends. God is on the move. Don't just stare the preacher. Lift your faith and possess your blessings. Lift your faith and believe. Lift your faith and receive your need. Lift your faith and receive your healing wherever you are. I said, if blind but me could have behaved the way we are behaving now, he was going to die blind. Faith has got certain characteristics. Faith has got a certain behavior. It behaves itself. In a certain way. When you really believe you are not controllable. 
when John Ryan really wanted to see, people were busy mocking him. You have never been mocked to that point. I can assure you that. You have never been loved yet to that magnitude. You have never been scoffed. You have never been ridiculed to that point. Until the barber said, John, you are bringing a reproach. We are told you are walking around telling everybody that you can see. He said, yes, I can see. Right there. Immediately. At that very moment. His eyes came open. The barber was left holding the clipper. The head was gone. The man was already running in the street. I have seen sometimes in preaching. Uh, this door is too small. People could be carried by the Holy Ghost, thrown outside in such a speed. We are two gentlemen and ladies today. But last time you were behaving well. So when they begin to see that in Guero, I never told them. Faith behaves in a certain way. Just come here, my brother. Just come. So, people could just come and shake my hand like this. Sometimes you could do this whilst you are preaching. But it came a time where I just had to do this until they held my hand. I could not pull it out. So, I just said, no matter where you touch, just, just put your hand anywhere. There was such a power. Anyone who could just come and put their hand on me, they could just receive such a power. And they go like that. Demons were coming out literally without laying hands. Yes, Umamfundis, receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive it in the name of Jesus. 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 Receive your need in the name of Jesus. Receive your heart and desire. That wolf is moving there. It's right there on you. It's right here on you. Receive it. It's here with you. It's here with you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. That wave is here. That wave of the Holy Ghost. That wave. You can receive whatever need you have. You can receive whatever request you have. Your problem can end right now. Your situation can be solved right now. Your problems can end right now. If we can only believe. If you can just believe. If thou can believe, all things are possible. If thou can believe. Then I realized when the Bible says, Stephen, a man full with faith and power. Stephen, a man full with faith and power. Stephen, a man full with faith and power. Don't come unless you're faith. Don't come unless you believe. Don't come unless you're ready. Don't come unless you're ready. Are you ready? Benon, are you ready to receive it? Are you ready to be delivered? Are you ready for those evil spirits to be casted out? Are you ready? Are you ready, Benon? Are you ready, Benar? Are you ready, Benar? I cast out every devil in the name of Jesus Christ. I cast out every evil spirit. All those that could come who were demon possessed, just touching like this one. Evil spirits were coming out. Just touching whatever need they have. It was happening instantly. Can I tell you something? It's already happening instantly. You can receive instant healing. You can receive instant miracle. You can receive instant baptism of the Holy Spirit. You can receive an instant blessing. You can receive it instantly. 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 He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. Excuse me, just a second. Just a second. Yes, the power is here. The power is here. The power is here. The power of the Holy Ghost is moving in the church. That power is here. That power is here. That power is here. That power is here. 
that power is here that power is here that power is here that power of the holy ghost is in the church now that power is here and i take every spirit under my control in the name of jesus christ that power is here receive it receive it stephen a man full of faith and power i'm believing for you receive your need i'm believing for your children i'm believing for you i'm believing for your marriage i am believing for you that power is here i believe for you my brother receive it i believe for you my brother receive it i believe it for you in the name of jesus i believe it for you in the name of jesus i believe it for you my sister i believe it for you. i believe it for you quickly my friend we have no time to waste do you believe what you are coming here for receive it in the name of jesus christ receive it, the holy ghost receive it, the holy spirit You have believed it. You can have it. You have believed it. You can as well have it. Muriwa, go, hallelujah. Yes, you have believed. You, 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 you. You. Yes, I like these moments when faith begin to move, when people begin to believe. Yes, I give it to my sister and Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed be the name of Jesus. You shall receive power. Many days hence. Not many days hence. Not many days hence. Not many days hence. Not many hours hence. But even now, Lord. Not many days hence. Not, not many days hence. Condition. Not many days hence. Your problem. Not many days hence. Not many days hence. Not many days hence. Receive your blessings. Not many days hence. Not many days hence. Not many days not many minutes yet, not many hours yet. This service is not coming to an end. It's going to end your problem. The service is not coming to an end, but it's going to end your problem. The service is going to end your problem before it comes to an end. Not many days hence, not many days hence, not many days hence, not many days hence. You're going to give the testament then on? Not many days hands. It won't belong, sister. Not many days hands. It won't belong, my brother. They are going to call you this week. They are going to call you at work. Not many days hands. They are going to call you at work. Not many days hands. Not many days hands. Not many days hands. Person, you are going to see these blessings. Not many days hands. So many times preachers they come. They give to the children, they give to the congregation, and the pastor. Today, not many days, we have blessed the pastor. In the name of Jesus, we have blessed in the name of Jesus. Receive your blessings. 
Receive the blessing. Receive what you never need. Receive every need. Receive it, my pastor. Receive it in abundance. Receive it in abundance. Everything pending. Everything pending. Everything pending. It is done. Not many days hence. Not many days hence. Go and give a testimony. Go and rejoice. Everything which is pending. Everything which is pending. Not many days hence. Not many hours hence from now. Not many days hence. 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 You shall receive it. And be a witness. You shall receive it. You are going to testify about it. You are going to give it. I say not too many days. Not too many days, sister. Not too many days. It will not be long anymore. It will not be long anymore. Yes. Yes. That thing is gone. Not many days hence. Not many days hence. Receive it, my sister. Not many days hence. Not many days. Not many days. Not many days hence. Not many days hence. Not many days hence. Not many days hence. Thank you, Lord. Not many days hence. Let's accept it. Let it be. In the name of Jesus. You can keep believing. You can keep your faith up. You shall receive power and you'll be my witnesses. Not men days hence. Yes. Yes, receive it. Yes. 
Yes, receive it. Not many days hence. Not many days hence. I tell you the truth. I speak the truth in Christ Jesus. I lie not. I speak the truth. And I lie not. Not many days hence. You can write it in your diary. It's going to happen to me. Not many days hence. I'm going to get in courtship. Not many days hence. I'm going to receive my blessing. Not many days hence. Blessed Lord. I pray that you grant even to these sisters. In the name of Jesus. Satan. They are defeated. Come out of your sister. Come out of them. Come out of faith. They are defeated. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come out. Not many days. I am already running my prayer line. If thou can believe. I'm running my Not many days hence. That's how I run the prayer line these days. By the worship of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yesterday there was a sister who came. I rebuked witchcraft so hard. So we ran the literal prayer line. The moment I laid my hands. If the spirits came out, she began to move with these things and these like an animal. And I was just following behind. And I was in prayer watching. She was going among the people like this. Then she went, she fell down way at the back. That was the one of the easiest demons to cast out in my life. I just went and I just whispered. I said, Satan, you evil spirit, it called it by name. Just left instantly. People who change to be animals by evil spirits. I have seen them being delivered. Demons that moves like snakes. You saw the prophet one time saw one of the best men there. But from today. 
not many days ahead. I was preaching home. It was Friday. And I said, I'm giving you one year to get in God's name. Then I said, I have put it too far. Let me bring it back to six months. Then I said, I have put it too far. How many can agree with me? Six months is too far. Can I see single sisters here? Single sisters. Those that are ready to be married. How many can say six months is too far? Then I can bring it to three months. But it's still too far. 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 Because the title must produce the results of the title. Not many days hence. So I said, I'm bringing it to one month. And I kept on saying, I still have put it too far. Let me bring it to two weeks. I said, it's still too far. I said, let me bring it to one week. And I said, it's still too far. It's still too far. Then I said, let me bring it to three days. And there's a sister who believed that within three days, the pastor will call you sister. Within three days, within three days, that was Friday, Sunday I came to preach, and I was preaching other things. When I went out, a boy saw me, Say, Pastor, I want to talk to you. I said, let's talk. He said, ah, you know, you know my age. I said, what about it? He said, ah, you know, I want to get married. I said, to who? He picked exactly that system from Friday service to Sunday. Only be only be oh things Yes, yep, that's it. Only be, only believe, only be, only believe, only be, oh, things, I condemn all the riches and things. Oh, Lord, I believe, Lord, I, Lord, I believe, Lord, I be, yes, oh, be all things, oh, so, Lord, I I want you to say, now I be, now I be, oh, where is that pianist? Possible, now I be. Let's turn to our feet as we close our eyes. Lord, I be. Play softly. Lord, I be. Do you now believe? 
Yes, I Yes, Lord. Yes, I believe it. Oh, yes, I Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I I want you to raise your hands and say, Lord, you are here. Lord, you are here. Oh, he's here, my sister. And he's here for you. Just the volume complete. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to say now I receive yes now I receive all this that's right that's right you can receive You can receive your healing, church. You can receive your healing. Oh, those that are sick and afflicted. Now you can receive your healing. Those that are troubled by evil spirits. You can receive your deliverance. Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your love, Lord. Thank you for your grace. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah! 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 
Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! There's a power here. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. Can you come to him? Come. Oh, I need. Oh, I need this very hour. I need. Oh, bless me now, my sister. the Holy Spirit, you can receive him now. I'll say yes! 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 I'll say yes, Lord! I'll say yes, Lord! I'll say yes! 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 I'll say yes. Place of yes. Yes. I'll say yes. Yeah. Lift your hands and worship him. I'll say yes. Watch him filling you with the Holy Ghost. I'll say yes, Lord. I'll say. Yes, lift your hands and open your hearts. Yes, I'll say yes. Yes, keep playing. I'll say yes. Only I'll say yes, brothers only. Yes, sing it loudly, brothers. I'll say yes, brothers. Can you lift your voices? Listen to me. Yes, I'll say yes. Sisters only. I'll 
Don't you hear angels singing? If you say yes, then he gives it to you. One more time, sisters, lifting your voice up high. I say, yes, sing it, sisters. Glory, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. eyes closed keep your eyes closed don't move be reverent Pentecost is here another X2 yes keep this atmosphere after I preached on Friday as the pastor was going back home he gave a lift to another sister and whilst they were in the car the pastor said he asked the sister and said sister how was the service she opened her mouth tried to reply the pastor she went into tongues and began to prophesy Spirit is here. The Holy Spirit is moving in the church. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your hands up in the air. Keep your faith up. Yes, that's the Holy Ghost upon that little boy there. That's the Holy Spirit. Yes. Children are receiving the Holy Ghost. Children are receiving the Holy Ghost. Little children are receiving the Holy Spirit. Children. Little boys, 12, 13 years. Little children receiving the Holy Spirit. I give you your child in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at that little boy. You can open your eyes here at the altar there under the power of the Holy Ghost. You can watch this. Children, where are you? I want all the Sunday school children to come to the altar right now, quickly. Rush, little children. The first class. Give room to the little children, quickly. Give room to these little girls and boys. Yes. 
Close your eyes, little children, and receive the Holy Spirit. If you are a mother, you can hold your child and bring them to the altar. Yes. I'll say yes. Remove those chairs. Yes. I'll say yes. Yes. Yes, yes. I'll say yes, Lord. The power of the Holy Spirit is in the building. I say the power of the Holy Spirit is in the building. Whilst you yet did Peter speak, whilst Peter yet speak, they received the Holy Spirit. Whilst Peter yet did speak, as Peter was preaching, the Lord. Let's bring it to the present day. Children, close your eyes and then pray. Yes! 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 Everyone who wants the Holy Spirit, just lift your hands wherever you are. Are you sure you are ready for the baptism of the Holy Spirit? Are you sure you are ready for another wave? Another wave of the Holy Ghost. Yes. If John the Baptist could receive the Holy Ghost in the mother's womb. How much more our 15 year old daughter? How much more your teenager? Teenager girl, you need the box, you need the box. You raise your hands. Jesus. 
Jesus praise every feather Jesus praise every feather Jesus praise We are in his presence. We are in his presence. In that atmosphere, keep reverent. We must remember that this seventh seal is the end of time of all things. That's right. The things written in the seventh seal book sealed up of the plan of redemption from before the foundation of the world. It every bit ends. It is the end. It is the end of the struggling nature. It is the end of the struggling sister. It is the end of struggling brother. It's the end of your struggling. It's the end of my struggling. I say this is the end of your struggling. This is the end of your struggling as a family. This is the end of your struggling as a family. You have been struggling. You have been struggling. This is the end of your struggling. I say, this is the end of your struggling. This is the 
is the end of your struggling. It's over. The battle is over. It every bit ends. Is the end of everything. In there is the end of the trumpets. In there is the end of the vows. Is the end of the earth. Is even the end of time. Then on paragraph 232 he say, Time 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 runs out for your problems. The Bible said in Matthew, I mean Revelation 10 there, the angel says time runs out. Time will be no more. When that in the days of this great thing to happen, everything runs out in this time. The end of this seventh seal. Notice is the end of the church age, is the end of the seventh seal, is the end of the trumpets, is the end of the vows, is the end the ushering in of the millennium. That's on the seventh seal. It just like firing a rocket into the air. And that rocket explodes here and it goes up and then explodes again. It puts out five stars. One of those stars explodes and blows out five stars from it. And then one of them stars explodes and blows out five stars from it. See, it fades on out. That's what the seventh seal. It just ends the time for the world. It ends the time for this. It ends the time for that. It ends the time for this. It ends the time. Everything just ended upon on that seventh. It ends the time for this sickness. It ends the time for this joblessness condition. We are ending the time for this. We are ending the time for that. We are ending the time for that evil habit. We are ending the time for that mischief. We are ending the time for this adultery. We are ending the time of this fornication. Ending the time of this gossiping. End the time for this and that. It ends up everything. Come pass on. Rapper. That is rapper. That is rapper. I'm not just saying a statement. I am not just saying a statement. That is rapper. Rapper. Shagashiku Shupai. Rapper. Rapper. It is all. Right.